Yo, what's going on guys? I'm Mike from Mobox, and I have to admit, I've been using displacement maps in the wrong way this whole time. Two things. One, I didn't even actually know how they worked properly. And two, I was not using them in ways that I totally could have. That would have saved me tons of time. So let's jump in After Effects here and take a look at, first of all, how they work. And second of all, some cool things that you could use with them. So here we are in our first example, we have kind of two layers. I've got one titled displacement map, and then I have one that's a copy, just so we can kind of see both um, at the same time. And I'm just going to make the first displacement map invisible. You see here, I also have an adjustment layer and then I have my background layer. If I search in my effects and presets for displacement map and drag it onto my adjustment layer, and I set the map layer to displacement map and select effects and masks, just so you know, I do have a few effects on this layer. So I wanna make sure I select effects and masks. Change these both to luminance, set the vertical displacement to zero, and then I crank up the horizontal displacement. You'll see exactly where my pitfall was. So my interpretation of displacement maps was either kind of the lighter the displacement map was, the more displacement or vice versa. So going from black to white, I was expecting it to be displaced over here a lot more than it was over here. But as it turns out, you could tell that actually 50% gray leads to no displacement. And the darker you get, the more it displaces in one direction. And the lighter you get, the more it displaces in the opposite direction. You can see here when I move this toggle, the darker something is, the more it displaces in the negative direction. And the lighter it is, the more in the positive direction. Now, that may not seem like a really big impactful thing. And for most applications, it's not. However, when I saw this on Twitter, this is all done with displacement maps. And if you start with a black or white layer on your displacement, you're really not going to be able to achieve this look very simply. So let's go to example two, where basically this is where I was practicing how to replicate that because I was so interested in how that displacement map was used that I had to figure it out for myself. In this composition, you see kind of this ball fall down and hit the water and have this ripple effect. Now, I made a tutorial in the past where I show you how to do this by hand with kind of path morphing and it took absolutely forever. But in this example, you get a really organic looking wave effect and it's all based on this displacement map. So why does knowing gray leads to zero displacement? Why is that important? It's important because in this example, I need my water line to stay consistent. And if it wasn't set to gray, this line would be shifted either downward, upward, to the left or to the right, depending on the color. Another cool thing with using displacement maps in this way, if I double click my displacement map, I actually have two of these expanding circles, except for one of my expanding circles is off-centered. And what that led to was a wave that wasn't uniform all the way across. And it made it look just a little bit more natural and realistic because a normal wave wouldn't be absolutely perfect. But if I did want it to be perfect and I align them both, then you would see here that it is a perfect wave. And that, you know, could be what you're looking for. But I just thought it looked interesting being a little bit off. So this is a completely new way for me to think about displacement maps. One, knowing now how the gray displacement map works, but also these new ways to use displacement maps. So let me show you two more examples of interesting ways to use displacement maps that have been talked about or discussed or discovered upwards of eight to 10 years ago. So these aren't new ideas with displacement maps, but if you're new to After Effects and you're new to using displacement maps, I figured we can talk about those. So, okay, so the first one is portrait. So in this example, I have this kid, he's sitting up against a wall. And when I hit play, you could see that there's a little bit of 3D motion here going on in the image. So you could see his, his his face is kind of morphing. And this is not a 3D 3D layer. When I move it really fast, it actually looks pretty bad. So if I turn on the displacement map, you could actually see um, what we did here in Photoshop. We basically highlighted parts of his face that we wanted to be closer to the camera. So we did that in white. And then we made his torso that mid gray tone because we wanted it to move the absolute least or basically nothing. And so you could see here that when we use displacement map with something like this, you can create kind of fake 3D. Now you don't wanna go overboard. There's a tons tons of tutorials online about how to do this step-by-step -step, and maybe I'll link a few, but um, if you make this go too much, it things get uh, a, little, a little crazy. 
But um, that actually looks kind of cool, actually. Um, the last one we'll talk about is a waving flag. This is super common. So all I have here is a flag layer. Let me turn off the displacement. It's just a flag layer, nothing, in, nothing crazy about it. We're not looking at 3D layers here. We just have a displacement. And on the displacement, um, I have it set to hard light on that master layer, but let me go set that to, to normal and then increase the opacity. And you could just see that pretty much what we have here is a 2D video of a flag waving. And when I set this to hard light and then I hit T on the keyboard and reduce the transparency, we can get some of the shadows from the original while also with a displacement map layer set to the purple fabric. Well, it's gray fabric because I put a tint on it. Um, as well as effects and masks, because we want that tint set to luminance with some horizontal and vertical displacement. Again, you don't want to go overboard. You want it to be fairly subtle and you can easily create a waving flag in After Effects with just a couple 2D layers in a video. So I hope you learned something new here about displacement maps. At, at the very least, I hope you learned something here about how gray is the neutral zero displacement and black and white. I've been using displacement maps all wrong this entire time and having this as a base is gonna help me get to my end result a lot quicker. In the past, there was a lot of trial and error and I didn't really know why things weren't working the way I wanted them to work. But so anyways, guys, if you wanna download this project file, please be sure to check out our Patreon. The only one I cannot include is this flag waving because this video here that I used is not royalty free. So pretty much if you need a flag waving, you're gonna have to probably go find that video somewhere. Uh, this one was from storyblocks.com, but um, there's tons of other ones online. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching.